Long time no see, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. G with the weather forecast for your weekend. Happy Friday. I hope you guys had a great week. I really apologize, guys, that I haven't been here with the weather forecast for most of the week. It's been a very hard week. I got uh, some hard classes right now and a very long commute to come home from work. So let's jump into that weather forecast as we talk about what's going on for your Saturday morning forecast. And hang on a second. Okay, there we go. There's your Saturday morning weather forecast. We're going to start to see thunderstorms through parts of the Midwest and through the upper Midwest, through Minnesota and Wisconsin. We're going to see some showers and thunderstorms and those storms are going to extend down through uh, parts of uh, Iowa and into uh, Missouri and Oklahoma as well as Kansas. We can see a few thunderstorms for your Saturday morning tomorrow. So overnight storms tonight and early in the morning. And then in the afternoon we're going to see those thunderstorms expand across the Midwest from Wisconsin and Minnesota and all the way down into the deep south which includes the state of Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama we're going to see those thunderstorms and some severe thunderstorms is going to happen across eastern Texas there now around the Dallas Fort Worth area to the Louisiana border we're going to be seeing some severe thunderstorms where some large hail damaging winds are going to be possible so we're going to be seeing those winds up to 70 miles an hour and some one to two inch diameter hail and other than that the rest of the country is going to see a dry day for your Saturday and morning and through the evening going to be a beautiful day on the west coast and a beautiful day on the east coast those conditions will start to improve over the east as we do have an advancing storm system that's going to eventually bring some rainfall into the northeast here is the early week uh, look at our map here and we're going to be seeing it hot down across the southern plains and into Texas and we're going to be seeing a lot of showers and thunderstorms through the mid-south and along the Gulf Coast and over into the southeast and we're going to see some of those showers and storms uh, affect parts of the mid-Atlantic and rain showers into the northeast so that's going to add some rainfall and some moisture to the air so we're going to see some of that dust and smoke clear out from those fires up in Canada so we're going to see improving air quality over the northeast but we're going to be seeing nice weather across the northern plains northern Minnesota and the Dakota is going to have beautiful weather this weekend and into the early part of next week and we're going to be seeing it uh, warm across the Pacific Northwest but we're going to have this nice trough over the Southwest that's going to keep things cool over Southern California and below normal across the desert Southwest. Here is a look at our severe thunderstorm uh, outlook for tonight. We're going to be seeing those severe thunderstorms through the night tonight from North Texas into Oklahoma as well as into parts of Kansas and eastern Colorado. We're going to be seeing the potential for some hail. We're going to see slow moving downpours as well as damaging wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour. And we're going to see much of the same for your day on Saturday down across the south the southern plains of Texas, Louisiana, parts of Mississippi, Arkansas, as well as into Oklahoma. But it's in this region right here, east of Dallas and Waco, over into Shreveport, Louisiana, where we can see our most intense severe thunderstorms with large hail, damaging wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour, and some heavy rainfall potential as well. So we will have an increase a severe weather threat over eastern Texas and southwestern Arkansas, southeastern Oklahoma, and northwestern Texas is where we have that greatest threat for severe thunderstorms. And then on Sunday afternoon into Sunday night, that severe weather threat shifts a bit to the north to northern Arkansas, uh, western Tennessee and Kentucky, uh, southern Indiana and Illinois, southeastern Missouri, and parts of northern Mississippi, northwestern Alabama, just a little bit of touch there into Alabama. We could see uh, a potential for some severe weather with some hail and damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour. So we'll keep that severe weather potential there. 
And we're going to see our severe weather into Monday afternoon and Monday night here across the mid-Atlantic state. So North Carolina, South Carolina, parts of Maryland, as well as in Virginia and Delaware, New Jersey. We're going to see that potential for some severe thunderstorms where a large hail is going to be possible and damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour is going to be the primary threat. It's kind of interesting. We're not really seeing a lot of cold air out in interactions, so we're not seeing a whole lot of tornado activity right now. But we can see uh, the potential for a, a tornado over the high plains if we deal with any thunderstorms in those regions into the summer months that's coming up and as we talk about monday night into through wednesday of the upcoming week we're going to see a lot of thunderstorms here through the midwest primarily and through parts of the mid-south and we're going to see those severe thunderstorms and rounds of heavy storms from minnesota <laughs> down into missouri uh, we're going to be seeing them over illinois indiana parts of ohio um we have the state of Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, Northern Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, Eastern Texas, Eastern Oklahoma, Southeastern Kansas, where we'll have an area of low pressure right there and a little bit of energy coming in from the Southwest from our jet stream that's going to help to fire off some of those thunderstorms. <coughs> And we're going to be seeing a lot of moisture streaming northward out of the Gulf Coast. So that heat and humidity is going to aid, aid in the development of those thunderstorms across the Midwest and through the Ohio Valley as we head through the week of next week. And we're going to see a, a reprieve from the dryness across the Pacific Northwest. The, not the Pacific Northwest. The Northeast, I'm sorry, New England and the Northeast. We're going to be seeing uh, some rain showers start to move in on Saturday across the Northeast. And that's going to help to clear out some of the smoke as well as the dust in the air, improve your weather, your air quality, and also cool temperatures down a little bit on the backside of that area of low pressure. But it will be nice. Across the mid, south, and the mid-Atlantic states as well. It's going to be dry and comfortable into the Ohio Valley on Saturday. Very pleasant weather for those regions. And as we talk about that pattern change, we're going to see Sunday into early next week. Again, the improving air quality and a southwesterly flow that's going to help to keep that smoke up into Canada where it originated from and it won't be invading the Northeast as we head into the upcoming week. And here we are as we talk about the midweek. So Sunday through Wednesday, we're going to see a lot of wet weather across the eastern half of the United States. So we're going to see thunderstorms and rain showers from New England all the way down to the state of Florida and the Gulf Coast. So much of the eastern United States will deal with some rain showers and some thunderstorms as well. And some much needed rainfall through parts of the Ohio Valley and through the mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. It's been very dry. They definitely desperately need the rainfall, so they finally are going to get it. And again, Monday and through Monday night, we're going to see a little bit heavier rainfall through move through the Northeast and towards New England, where we're going to be seeing those showers and thunderstorms as well. But that is a look at your weather forecast. My name is Mr. G. Thank you for joining me. And I will try to be here tomorrow with another forecast. You will get weather forecasts through the weekend. So I won't let you down again this time. But Mr. G has a lot of homework to do. And I apologize again for not being here with the videos for you guys. But we're back. So thank you for watching me. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.